So let's pull my archers back a bit further actually so you got a clear shot over the fence, over the gate or wall, whatever. Wooden palisade thing. So we've got 45 my, uh, warriors left. For some reason just slowly marching backwards. Wow, we're down to 48 berserkers left. Those dwarven warriors are hard troops to kill. I've lost 4%, they've lost 15 Okay, the Dwarven Miners are actually being beaten back quite a bit. That's good. Let's shoot those Dwarven Miners. Some Dwarven Miners moving in here. Not good. Right, I'm going to have to flank with these archers. Shoot them from behind. Let's move my Guards of all thank to here. Captured the gateway. Okay, let's get these archers to shoot those miners. We can get rid of those miners quickly. I'll just free up my Urukai raiders over there. Let's get my berserkers out of the way. And my Urukai Raiders as well. No, Berserkers over here, please. Reavers attack. Raiders get inside. Get inside, please. Okay, so I'm actually going to send my Berserkers around to attack the Miners. Just for the moment. And the Miners are getting shot to pieces now. That's good. I'm also shooting my own troops by mistake, which is a bit annoying, but never mind. Uh... That'll do, that'll do. And let's pull my archers back a bit. <clears throat> so there's only eight of these guys. I'm actually going to set my troops to attack the bigger unit of, wa of warriors. We can make these miners retreat. That'd be excellent. These miners are actually... They're not bad units. They're quite, they're very resilient, but uh, they just—they're just not able of holding out long enough against a constant attack. They're kind of like Snaga units, I guess, except without the missiles and with a little extra strength. Okay, these guys are actually getting beaten, so I might have to pull them out for a moment. Actually, no, I'm not going to pull them out because that's a stupid idea. Uh, well, once I've broken the miners and everything on this flank, I'll move my troops out, move my troops around to assist at the gate. Okay, those miners are in retreat, so let's move my berserkers around to here. These miners are still being attacked, so let's just keep up the attack there. Those warriors are now losing, apparently. So, if I can get my guards of all thank in and around into this gap here, I can hit from this side. I'm losing quite a few orcs on that flank, though. It's a bit of an, an annoyance, but never mind. Right, I'm going to move my guards of all thank in over here as well. My general, here he is. Let's move him up to the edge of the wall, where he's closest to my troops. We're going to move my wargs in shortly, I think, as well. We need to. Yeah, these dwarven miners are screwed now. Okay, so these berserkers have done quite well. They they haven't, got, they haven't gained any experience, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. Right, hit those dwarven warriors, please. Guards of all thank move in. Move 
Move my wargs up a bit as well. General, sound your horn. Okay, they're sending in some dwarven miners. Archers, open fire on those miners, please. Get some fire on them. I might move these guards around to this flank as well to assist. Just for a little bit, because I think this side is pretty much... Oh, God. Dwarven nobleman. Right. Screw that. You guys are going to hold this place here. The general is on the move. Did not see these guys moving in. That's uh, Actually, let's bring my archers over to this side. We'll, hit, we'll shoot him from the back. We'll shoot him with normal arrows as well. Oh dear. Victory seems certain for the Dwarven Warriors at the gate, apparently. Let's see. 22% for 40%. So we're doing alright. Um, I don't think I'll be able to use this um, army to head straight on to Kibble Doom. But we'll see just how many casualties we have, um, how many men we have left by the end. So let's move my Guards of All Thank to charge forwards and hit the General. My archers in position. Yes, they are. Open fire, please. Wags, I will move them in shortly, I think. Uh, these archers still shooting the dwarf and miners there. And 67 reavers here. Not all of my raiders are even inside the town, which is a bit annoying. I need to get them all inside. Guards of all thank are doing pretty good. My berserkers are taking quite a few casualties now. Uh, all my archers shooting these dwarven noblemen at the moment. I just have one more volley of my archers. Actually, we'll stop that because they hate my own troops now. And we will pull in some wargs. Let's get them in. Pull my berserkers out there. Tiring quite quickly and they need assistance. So once we've dwar dealt with the dwarven nobles, we'll then uh, move around to the gate. Let's see, oh, we've got some more enemies over here. Dwarven miners. We've got over here Dwarven Axe Throwers, Axe Throwers, Miners. We've got a lot of Dwarves to kill left. Uh, well, I thought my Wags would have taken a lot of casualties by now, but the Dwarven uh, Nobles are actually getting massacred. That is... A surprise. I mean, I know they're all surrounded and everything, but I was expecting them to put up much more of a fight than that. Sort of the same standard as the gate troops. That's interesting. Where are these axe throwers? There they are. The axe throwers are the ones I am most worried about. Um, I think that's where we're going to take a lot of casualties. We have to do a lot of flanking there. First, we kill the general. There's only a few of them left. Uh, what we got over here? Dwarven miners. There goes the enemy general. Excellent. We have slain him. Who was it? Bomber. I believe he's in the book. He's in the Hobbit book, I think. Okay, the miners, the warriors are in retreat. Everyone, kill these miners left. Okay, these guys are now resting. So uh, we'll send my. Okay, no, the miners are in retreat as well. Right, everyone hold position for the moment. Let's just reform. I have lost so many berserkers. But uh, we've broken through. So now next step is to beat the 
Uruk archers some uh, not Uruk archers, the Dwarven Axe throwers somehow. Okay, these archers need are able to go into melee. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send them round this way. These archers pretty much can have only one volley left. So we've actually lost a lot of men. 35% for 50%, so we've wiped out half of the dwarves so far. Let's see, we've got some 69 dwarven miners there. They are just going to absolutely own me if I attack them straight away. Oh, how am I going to do this? Um, let's move my catapult there. Move it there. Fast forward. If I lose by running out of time, I am happy with that because we've wiped out half of the dwarven garrison plus the general. Which is a good good start. It's a bit of a shame if I don't win this, but uh, never mind. Are those axe rows in range? Oh no, these guys are. Sorry, wrong ones. Axe throwers, fire please. I'm going to get my catapult to fire rotten meat. I don't know exactly what it does. I assume it lowers morale, maybe? Not quite sure. Right, wogs. Move around here this way. Apparently a piece of rotting meat can destroy a stone tower on the top of a building. That is interesting. I'm assuming rotten meat lowers morale. Don't really know for sure. Okay, actually getting these catapults to f attack now. Oh, oh, I hit my own troops. That is stupid. What are you doing? Killed a berserker as well. Terrible. Okay, so I hit the miners there. I really don't know what rotting meat does, to be honest. Throwers charge. You guys charge the Athras. Wogs, I'm going to send you around and attack the Dwarven Miners. And then we can get those Axthrows in a pincer movement. Let's get my general inside. I only have one berserker left, that's a shame. Okay, let's just decimate this last unit there. Right, wogs turn around and kill these axe throwers. I lost my berserkers, no! There we go, they're routing. Excellent. Let's just slaughter these guys as they retreat. I lost a Reaver unit as well. Oh dear, I don't think that we're going to have to going to be able to use this army to attack Kibble Doom. I don't think we will be able to. Right. Let's send all of these troops in against the Dwarven Miners. Go. 
some axe throwers there, still holding their position. Actually, no, 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 no. Pull my guys back. We're not going to attack unless we can all attack at once. Unless we can all attack at once, I'm not attacking at all. Okay, these two Urukai archers are going to get slaughtered. Great. 51% for 61%. Here we go. Axe throwers, move. Everyone attack these axe throwers quickly, please. Okay, so we've got my all my army pretty much bearing down on these last axe throwers. Actually, no, they're not the last ones. They're routing as well. That was quick. Okay, let's pull uh, these guys back. Get my wargs to pull back as well now. Okay, we only have two units left over here, which is not good. So we'll put my guards of all tank at the front, raiders just behind. Okay, so now, the moment of truth. Let's move my uh, catapults in as well. Building captured, gateway. Axeros. I have no troops over there, so they've got an Axero unit spare. Uh, guards of Orthanc, we need to take out those Axeros quickly. I'm actually going to send my wargs round this way. Get them to flank. They can move quickly, so they'll flank that way. And they'll hit the enemy from behind over here. Victory seems certain over on the over there, which is not good. Hurry up, Wargs. Need you now. We need to break through. Only half our force remains. Yes, I know. This is a very, very tough battle. I don't need you telling me what we have and don't have. I just need to focus. Right. Wargs. We're going to hit these axe throwers. We're going to ignore these miners for the moment. We're just going to hit the axe throwers. Hit the axe throwers. Go, go, go. I hope you ignore those miners. Nope, you're going to go straight for the miners. Great. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. They lost it 16% ago. Oh crap, my wags are going to get slaughtered. All my troops are going to get slaughtered. Oh, this is not good. 61% for 68%. Okay, I think the battle would probably end with me running out of time. That's how it looks at the moment. Okay, we've broken one dwarven miner here. Let's break the other smaller one and then we'll hit these dwarven miners.
Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna fast forward all this actually. Let's hit these axe throwers. They've actually weakened. They've reduced the number of troops they have on this flank to compensate for me attacking the other flank. This is interesting. If I can beat these dwarven miners. We have equal percentage of casualty losses at the moment. Or near equal. Thirty-eight miners and fifty-one miners, or forty odd miners. That's okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Something changes in the course of battle, but a feat seems almost certain. Damn it, we're gonna run out of time. I think we've done pretty well so far though. Killed a general, wiped out the majority of the enemy garrison. Ah, damn it. So I think we'll probably have to attack, um, attack the town a second time later on. Yep. Okay, close defeat, so... Oh dear. Um, hmm. Let's push back the plans a little bit. Well, that wasn't very good, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, I'm going to accept that. That gets me another odd 90 odd men. I killed the enemy general there, though, so I suppose that's a good that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to need to send some troops that way somehow. Get ready for fighting. Uh, damn, <laughs> that didn't quite go according to plan. Um, all we can do is end the turn for the moment. <laughs> 